Welcome back again everyone to my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. We're still in the Ghost Tower, so let's continue on our epic journey against these annoying trainers. Give me blood, says the vampire woman in front of me. They're just all the same people. They all have green hair, they all have these flags or whatever they are in their hands. And the biggest thing is they all have ghastlies. I'm not too sure why. So we'll just keep burning them and they'll keep using them. I guess uh, gas and fire don't mix well, so should be easy. Well, I guess if you don't succeed the first time, try again. But what happens if you don't succeed the second time? Third time's the charm? Is that what's, what's going to happen? Never ghastly? Oh wow, you, <laughs> you seriously don't surprise me. And that was the most easiest battle I've had all day. Actually, this is the only battle I've had all day. Ah, oh, flamethrower, finally Charmeleon. Oh my god, this is so amazing. I have a boner. All right, uh, 50 damage, 80 damage, 40, uh, 95 damage. That's so amazing. Scary face, uh, okay. We'll just get rid of Scary Face, I guess. I was thinking to myself, I could replace Ember, but Flamethrower has 15 PP, and uh, I think I'll want another fire attack just in case it runs out of PP on the weaker Pokemon, so maybe that's a good idea. Stop right there. Uh, Kikika, Kikiki, what is that supposed to be? I'm a poet, and I won't say the second sentence of that sentence because everybody knows it. Oh shit! There we go, I rhymed anyway. And we won't be using flamethrower on this thing because it's a piece of shit. It's a piece, it's literally a piece of shit surrounded by shit. Key, is that how you guys communicate with each other? It's just saying key. Seriously, what is wrong with each and every one of you? Come forth, butter free. Oh, butter three. Okay, through the tower, yet again we go. When it ends, nobody knows. Urf qua. I think these uh, these peoples live in uh, caveman times. They live in the Stone Age, that's what I was supposed to say. Uh, curse? Oh dear, that doesn't look healthy. Put its own HP and laid a curse on Butterfree. Oh, this isn't good. Please one shot the thing. Nice. Yeah, I know for a fact curse is like a really horrible form of poison, but I don't think I lose HP outside of the battle. It's only during the battle that I lose HP. So my Butterfree will be fine. Uh, where's the next flight of stairs? Oh, it's down here. I found a rare candy. <laughs> yes, rare candy is the greatest item ever, seriously. And uh, be gone, intruders. Uh, what? Hello? Oh. A ghost. Level 30. Silphscope unveiled the ghost identity, and it's a Marowak. I remember this battle, guys. And I know for a fact you cannot catch this thing. Seriously, you can't catch a Marowak. It basically knocks the Pokeballs away with its bone, and it's like, you're not catching me. Which really sucks because Marowak is a really great Pokemon. Um, seriously, it's a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, I could always go and catch a Cubone. I th I can't. I don't know where Cubones are, but if I find any, then I could easily catch one of those and get myself a Marowak. But when it comes to my final team that I want, um, I don't want a a Marowak on it because I have it kind of planned in my head anyway. Um, poison powder, doesn't stack with sleep powder, supersonic should be fine, we'll just use confuse it. confusion. <laughs> doesn't do too much damage, but if he confuses himself, he'll be taking the uh, poison and maybe the, even the confusion each round on top of the damage I'll be doing, so I should be able to uh, grind down his health real fast, which is great. Uh, bone meringue, <laughs> I like the use of play on words right there. Fortunately, it doesn't affect my Butterfree for some reason. Not too sure why. Maybe maybe it's because he's flying. Critical hit. For once, a gr critical hit. That's useful. And we did it, guys. We um, we knocked out the Marowak, which was guarding the stairs that I um, 
the ghost was the restless spirit of Kubo's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Okay, that's very nice. Um, I don't even want that Pokeball anyway. Let's go to the next level. Okay, we'll swap out Butterfree for my good pal, Kadabra. You, you guys know I love my Kadabra a lot. Oh, look at this, guys. More Team Rocket nerds in the tower. What do you want? Why are you here? We are Team Rocket and we are queer. Level... Wait, level? He's got three Pokemon and he's got a shit old Zubat, level 25. This should not be hard at all, guys. Seriously, this is going to be really easy. To be honest, Team Rocket Grunts are some of the easiest trainers around. Uh, I don't know if this game has cool trainers. What cool trainers are, are like really good trainers. Like they're almost as good as gym leaders, really. I think that they um, they have unique Pokemon. Like they'll have like Arcanine and stuff like that. Like they'll have random Pokemon that um, normal Pokemon trainers would not have because they'd have like shit little things like Zubats and shit. But cool trainers have like evolved things on rarer Pokemon and unique Pokemon. So it's always nice to battle those because you never know what they're gonna send out. Got all that nice stuff. We'll use a side beam on this then to one shot it. And there we go. Golbat has a huge mouth, by the way. I give up, says the grunt. I'm not going to forget this. I will go now. This old guy matched right up to our hideouts, then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So we're just talking it over as adults. Uh, okay. Well, at least there's nobody, like, holding a gun to his face. You know, he's just stood there all relaxed and calm, I think. So I think the old guy's fine. These guys won't be fine, though, because they keep using poison Pokemon against me, and I have a freaking level 33 Kadabra. This is going to be beyond easy. It's going to be a joke. Coughing fainted, level 34. Uh, he's about to use a drowsy. We'll swap out Kadabra then. We'll go to um, a Charmeleon again. I really want to start using Mankey. It's just unfortunate Mankey's kind of useless against poison, uh, psychic, and even ghost Pokemon, really. So I'll just keep using uh, Charmeleon and Kadabra until we find a Pokemon that will be fine to fight. Charmeleon's ember was disabled. Oh no, okay. We'll just use flamethrower then. Not a problem. Wow, that doesn't look healthy at all. Please, no more. Take my money. I will leave you now. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You're right, actually. Pokemon are fantastic for making money. Seriously. If this was real life and I was making a thousand bucks per Pokemon battle, I'd do this all day and night. I wouldn't even sleep. I would pay people to do Pokemon battles for me. Well, actually, I wouldn't pay them. I'd give them Pokemon to do battles for me and then I'd take a cut, like 20% or something, and make a living off of it. I'd start a business in Pokemon. Actually, everybody would start a business in Pokemon if this was the way it is. Who needs casinos? Just Pokemon battle in the streets. It's, it's, it's gambling. It's gambling without any laws or any problems. You can just do it whenever you wanted. And the people at the top are basically millionaires. It's fantastic, really. Ratata, finally! Something really shit. Let's do this, Mankey. Alrighty, we'll use Karate Chop. Supposedly, Low Kick does more damage against heavier Pokemon. Rattata doesn't look very heavy, if I'll be honest with you guys. So, we'll just use a Karate Chop. Rattata, this calls for a Low Kick. Try and hit him in the bollocks if you can, Mankey. Okay. Are you fucking with me? Oh my god, don't you dare use another Quick Attack. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Used the scary face, obviously had no idea what it was doing, because now he's just, just fucked himself over. Player defeated another grunt. Don't fight us, Rockets, because we keep losing to you. <laughs> You're not getting away with this, says the loser. 
Mr. Fuji. Huh? You came to save me? Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern and follow me to my home at the foot of this tower. What a scary, scary soundtrack. Yami, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. I received the Poker Flute from Mr. Fuji. Upon, oh, no, oh, I can't even speak today. Upon hearing the Poker Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. He's directly referring to the two Snorlaxes in this world. And it's going to be greatly useful when I uh, go down the uh, bridges in a second. So let's quickly heal up my Pokemon. And uh, I'll basically swap my team around a little. And we'll go continuing on our quest or our journey to becoming a Pokemon Master, as it were. We hope to see you again, Yummy Mash. Says Nurse Joy. Okay then. Um, Alright, Kadabra is a high level, Charmini is a high level. Let's start grinding up things that are a little under leveled compared to the rest of the team, to be honest. So we'll use Gloom. Mm, yes, we'll use Gloom. There's a lot of water trainers down here. And a way to counteract water trainers is used to is to use a grass Pokemon. And oh, you let me pass! Thank you. I honestly thought you wasn't gonna let me pass. Now the cool thing is, in these type of places, there's usually something awesome, but uh, this doesn't look very awesome. Tw Twenty-seven from the little girl. Return if you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. Uh, sounds quite shit, actually. So, thank you, but no thanks, little girl. I won't be using that. Because I don't really love my Pokemon. They're slaves. Yeah, I got a bite here. Okay. That's glad to know. Fisherman Ned would like to battle. Goldeen. Okay, this is predictable. Goldeens, horses, uh, maybe even Magikarps if these guys are dumb enough. Should be quite easy, really. Oh, you keep using Horn Attack. You use anything that isn't Peck, and I'll be fine. Uh, we use another Absorb. Yeah, this is going to be quite easy, really, guys. Um, the thing about Fisherman Trainers is they're quite predictable in the Pokemon they have. They're like those Ghost Trainers in the tower. They all had Gastlies. Not even one of them had a Haunter, which uh, surprises me, actually. Tail Whip, really? Do you honestly think you're going to achieve anything with that attack? You just made yourself look like a fool. Oh, yet again, another useless critical hit. Don't know what's wrong with this game. Oh, level 24. Will he learn Acid? Is that person right? Yes, he is. Thank you, um, whoever said to me that he learns Acid at level 24. It really helps me out. Uh, okay, we, we can't really get rid of Cut or Flash, so... I love Poison Powder too. I've really fucked myself over with this one, guys, haven't I? Oh, dearie me. Alright, ugh, shit. Poison Powder it is. Poof, Gloom forgot Poison Powder and learnt Acid. I sure hope there's a move deleter around here. Alright, screw you, Gloom. We'll send out Pidgeotto. At least, um, I do plan on keeping Pidgeotto towards the end, because Pidgeot is quite badass. And it's just great to have a flying Pokemon against grass and uh, fighting Pokemon. Uh, however, saying that, Alakazam would be fine against fighting Pokemon anyway. Double slap, that'll hit twice, I believe. Yep, um, I'm sure it's a 2-5 to five attack. And if it's only twice, it's really shit. Water Gun. Ah, that did fuck all, really. Fishman is about to use Goldeen again. Um, okay, we'll send out nothing. We'll keep Pidgeotto out. Uh, Gust. Anybody know Gust? If you don't know what that reference is from, shame on you. All right, quick attack. Yeah, I've got this in the bag. Yet another easy win. Yet another shit trainer. It's 
what the, f the world is filled with. Just shit Pokemon trainers. Oh, shit Pokemon. And just a small fry would be you. Okay then guys, um, let me just go down a little further. There's a trainer there. Uh, let me just see who's in my team. We'll uh, maybe have a good old butterfree. Alrighty guys, I'm going to cut this one here then. I'll see you all in the next episode.